back to Tracked and Tested. So in my last video you saw the Backman Gordon. This time I've got the Hornby Henry. So I tried to get a Backman Henry because personally I like the black Backman, Blackman? Excuse me, Backman models, okay? Because they are more realistic to the show. Uh, however, I just missed out, but I did get a Hornby one. And here he is, Hornby Henry. He's based on a class five loco. Okay, and uh, this is going to be a little bit different to the other one, so let's get him out the box, shall we? Let's put some music over this bit. Right, so here we go. So, here is Henry in all his glory. There we go. Look at that. The detailing on his face is actually really good. The eyes don't move on the Hornby stuff, which is a total shame, but... There's not much you can do about that, so there we go, okay. Uh, a little bit of detailing in the cab, okay, unlike the Backman models. But what Hornby tend to do is they tend to use the same tooling, presses, tooling, you know, tooling presses, uh, for their actual locos as the Thomas locos. So, for example, this is based on a Class 5, when Henry is slightly different in the series. You'll see what I mean by when you see the tender, and I'll point out the differences. Also, he's a slightly, slightly different shape, but you can still tell it's Henry. You know, so there's the side profile, and as you can see, he's tapered, unlike the TV show where he isn't. But I'm going back to the old TV show now, by the way, because, hell, you know, classic Thomas is the best Thomas. Let's be honest, none of the CGI stuff, which I'm not personally a fan of. So there we go. But what I do like about the, the Henry stuff is quite a, the Henry Hornby Henry is the there's quite a lot of weight in him as well. So he feels a bit more robust than the Backman Gordon, for example. Okay. Uh, what I absolutely love, though, and this is just me being an absolute child here, I suppose. Look at the wheel mechanism. Oh, I love his push rods. That looks amazing. That looks absolutely amazing. So, yeah, there he is. Okay. No lamp irons, unfortunately. None at all. Uh, whereas on the Backman uh, stuff, you do get the lamp irons. You also get a few more details, uh, you know, which are more relevant to the show. And also you get the eye movement. But other than that, it's a really, really nice model. Uh, and I'm really, really pleased with it. Okay, so there's the, uh, there's the actual... Loco and here's the tender. Okay, now this is where the mo this is a tender driven loco. Okay, it's not an actual uh, the, the motor's not in the in the loco itself, it's in the tender. Uh, he is a standard analog setup. Okay, so uh, I'm not even delving in the DCC part yet. I'm still new to this, so I'm probably making a thousand mistakes in this, but this is my journey through it, hence the name tracked and tested. So, anyway, I digress. So, here's the tender. Here's Henry's tender. Okay, now if you've ever seen the show like I have, it actually ends there and it's a straight line. And it's slightly different to that. The coal, as you can see, is very lumpy compared to the Backman one. The Backman one, I think, actually has better coal. Uh, one thing I kind of do and don't like about these ones is they've actually got rubber tyres on his wheels, so they give a bit better grip. Now, I like the idea of that, but I don't like it as well i like to have a bit of wheel slip you know i like to see the wheel slip but again apparently it doesn't do the motors any good which you can kind of understand really uh yes the tender's very very heavy uh together just put henry together there he is he's quite a long loco yeah as you can see he's a long loco but uh, he runs really well as you'll see in a minute okay uh, he does run really well on low speed and high speed so fair play to him on that one Okay, uh, so there's Henry. Uh, it was just a quick video to show you Henry, really. Next, I have got a surprise. Okay, uh, I actually have a Backman Diesel. Now, Diesel is my son's favourite character of all time. So when he saw that, he just squealed with excitement. So uh, I'll unbox him properly. He's a Backman version, so I'm quite lucky to get hold of him. Okay, and there will be a few other things in the pipeline as well. So do stay tuned. Okay. Uh, Hope you're all staying safe, enjoy yourselves, and most of all, take it easy. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Video of Henry actually moving, I forgot to add this little bit in, so my apologies. Uh, Henry was actually originally an experimental engine. Uh, what I mean by that is, is the fat controller, or Sir Topham Hat, actually bought uh, Henry as a prototype. 
and he did not run properly. If you, if you remember from the very first series, he was quite ill constantly. And that's because his firebox was too small, and there was also a couple of bit, other little bits that uh, needed to be changed on him. So they tried him with special coal, which was from Wales, and he ran great up until he took the flying kipper out and went into the back of another heavy goods train when he had quite a nasty accident. So uh, while he was being repaired in crew, the fat controller actually got him a bigger firebox and some other bits and bobs added on. And now Henry is probably just as strong as Gordon. But don't tell Gordon that. Gordon won't be too impressed if he knows about that. But uh, yeah, so that's what I forgot to mention before, that uh, Henry was originally experimental and his shape changed. So the model I have is actually after the shape change. So Henry is based on the Class 5. So there we go. Okay, guys, thanks for that little bit. Sorry for adding that in. So uh, take it easy. Thanks for watching. Okay, so as you can see, I've got Henry on the track ready to go. And as I said to you before, he's based on the Black 5, and originally he was an experimental engine. Uh, so that's why they changed his shape in the series, but I said I went into more depth on that before. So let's see him run, shall we? Eh? Remember, he's tender-driven, so all his pickups are in his tender. Unlike Gordon, where his motor's actually in the loco itself, this is tender-driven. So come on, Henry, let's see you run. I just realised I put the mail car on the wrong way round. Oh well. Oh, and he's dropped his trucks. Oh well, just move them out the way for now. But yeah, there he goes. Absolutely love the wheel mechanism on this. It looks phenomenal as it goes round the track. Runs beautifully. Nice and quiet. Really smooth. Yep, chuffed to bits with Henry. A big smile on his face because I've said that as well. Looks a lot better in his new shape, I think. Yep. So there we go. There's Hornby Henry.